हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हर घर पाठशाला में आपका स्वागत है माई सेल्फ राजेश नंदा आई एम लेक्चर इन फिजिक्स प्रेजेंटली पोस्टेड एट गवर्नमेंट मॉडल सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल कोटी डिस्ट्रिक्ट मंडी वी आर डिस्कसिंग द यूनिट सेकेंड ऑफ प्लस टू फिजिक्स करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इससे पहले कि हम आज का टॉपिक शुरू करें आपके लिए एक महत्वपूर्ण संदेश रहेगा प्रतिदिन की तरह ही कोविड 19 महामारी को लेकर जो परिस्थितियां बनी हुई हैं उसमें आपने किसी भी प्रकार के संक्रमण से बचने के लिए हाथों को बार बार धोते रहना है अनावश्यक रूप से हाथों से मुंह नाक और आंखों को छूने से बचना है घर से बाहर निकलते समय मास्क का प्रयोग करना है और सही तरीके से मास्क का प्रयोग करना है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग बनाए रखनी है बाहर निकलते समय एक दूसरे से उचित दूरी पर रहना है तो चलिए आज के टॉपिक की शुरुआत करते हैं करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जिसमें हम डिस्कस करेंगे वीट स्टोन ब्रिज बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द वीट स्टोन ब्रिज लेट अस रिवाइज द प्रीवियस टॉपिक किचॉप्स ला किचॉप्स ला फर्स्ट ला That is a current law or junction rule. The algebraic sum of the electric current at a junction in any electrical ne network that is zero means incoming current and outgoing current. The algebraic sum at the junction that will be equal to zero. Incoming current toward the junction that is taken positive, and the outgoing current uh, that is taken negative. Kirchhoff's second law, that is Boltz's law, or loop rule. Algebraic sum of all the potential drop and EMF along any closed path in electric network that is zero. Okay, this is the uh, Boltz's law or loop rule. In this, EMF is taken negative when we travel from the positive to negative terminal of the cell. and the emf is taken positive when we travel from the negative to positive terminal of the cell it was the kirchhoff's law now we come to the wheatstone bridge samuel hunter crisity invented the wheatstone bridge in year 1833 which became popular with the work of sir charles wheatstone in 1843 an electric circuit that is set up to measure the unknown value of the resistor and create the balance between the two leg of the bridge circuit is called the wheatstone bridge and this uh, wheatstone bridge three resistances are known and one uh, one of which is variable or adjustable and fourth one has to be found out we will doing this with the help of the ohms law compared to the other measuring instrument such as boltz divider the concept of wheatstone bridge is widely used uh, because of the accuracy in its uh, measurement of the resistances okay then uh, what are the component of the wheatstone bridge in the experiment register with unknown resistance value and two register with Known register value. We require the resistances. Three resistances are required. One with the known value, or two with the known value, and one is a without known value. And variable register are like the rheostat, resistance box, or the preset could work here. This is the resistance box. And DC voltage source is required. Galvanometer. or any device which will indicate the voltage difference or flow of the current and this galvanometer zero is it at the center and the connecting wire are also required then the construction of this wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge is a, a bridge type of the circuit wheatstone bridge is a bridge type structure having four register three of the known and one of the unknown value here 
three are non value p q r that is have the non value and s is that unknown value and the galvanometer is there in between the b and d end the wheat stone bridge consists of four resistances p q r and s the value of s is to be calculated and here the galvanometer g is connected between the end b and d the current i from the source dc source passes toward the a and at a i1 goes through the resistance p and i remaining value i minus i1 passes through this r and at d at the point b ig current passes through the galvanometer and the remaining value from this i1 i1 minus ig that passes through the q and through this resistance s ig plus i minus i1 current will pass okay current through the arm are assumed by applying the kirchhoff's junction rule applying the kirchhoff's rule here at the junction a b d a the potential i1 p is taken negative minus this i1 g plus the i uh, i minus i1 r that is equal to 0 okay applying the kirchhoff's rule at this uh, junction a b d at this uh, loop sorry loop minus i1 p minus i g g capital g plus i minus i 1 into r that will be equal to 0 similarly we will apply the kirchhoff law at b c d a again here this potential at this q into i1 minus ig that is taken negative plus this value i minus i1 plus ig into s plus the i1 g equal to 0 okay and from here at the balance condition the potential between the b and d that will be equal so no current will passes through this the b and d so the no current passes means ig that is taken equal to zero when the ig is equal to zero bridge is said to be at balanced okay now substituting this value of ig is equal to zero in these this way equation and again in this equation here ig becomes zero then this value i1 g capital g that becomes zero and from here this ig zero and this value becomes zero so the equation come out to be minus i1 p plus uh, here the, the value is taken plus in negative is uh, by mistake i minus i1 into r will be equal to 0 here the ig this value is taken 0 and from the second equation the minus i1 q plus i minus i1 dot s will be equal to 0 now divide these two equation so after dividing the equation the result will be there p upon q will be equal to r upon s this is the basic principle of the wheatstone bridge okay we take the example of uh, this uh, wheatstone bridge in a wheatstone bridge p is equal to 100 ohm and q is equal to 1000 ohm and r is taken the 40 ohm if the galvanometer show the zero deflection then what is the value of s we know that uh, p upon q is equal to r upon s in case of the balanced wheat stone bridge then the s will uh, which is asked here s will be equal to q upon p into r okay q here given is a thousand and s given is a uh, sorry p is given is a hundred ohm and the value of r is 40 ohm then substituting this value the unknown resistance is calculated that is equal to 
फोर हंड्रेड ओम ओके देन वट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस वीट स्टोन ब्रिज वीट स्टोन ब्रिज इज यूज फॉर द प्रिसाइस मेजरमेंट ऑफ लो रेजिस्टेंसेस वीट स्टोन ब्रिज अलॉन्ग विद द ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफिकेशन इज यूज टू मेजर द फिजिकल पैरामीटर सच एस द टेम्परेचर लाइट एंड स्ट्रेनर द क्वान्टिटी सच एस द इम्पिडेंस इंडक्टेंस एंड कैपेसिटेंस कैन बी मेजर यूजिंग द वेरिएशन ऑफ द वेरिएशन ऑन द वीट स्टोन ब्रिज Uh, then there is uh, some limitations of this wheat stone bridge along all the advantages there are few limitations of the wheat stone bridge that uh, reading may be inaccurate under the unbalanced condition or uh, the range of measurement uh, range of measured resistance varies from the few ohm to that of a mega ohm and the susceptibility of high high dc current is not uh, there then uh, we revise this uh, whole lecture wheat stone bridge is a bridge type structure having four resistances three are known and one is a uh, unknown okay and uh, in the case of meter bridge uh, wheat stone bridge four resistances are taken the current i flows to uh, a it is divided uh, between the p and q along the p it is i1 and along the r it is uh, r1 minus i minus i1 and from the q current i1 minus ig flow and through the galvanometer ig current flow and the remaining value passes through this s over i minus i1 plus g applying the kirchhoff's loop rule in the loop a b d a we find that minus i1 p minus i g capital g plus i minus i1 r will be equal to 0 and similarly apply the loop rule here in the b c d a we will get the value minus i1 uh, minus i g q plus 1 minus uh, i minus i1 plus i g into s plus i g into capital g that is equal to 0 in the balance condition b and g d will be equal at equal potential and i g is taken equal to 0 so here from this i g is taken zero then the value come out to be i1 minus i1 p plus 1 minus i1 i1 into r is equal to zero and minus i1 q plus 1 minus i1 s is taken equal to zero after division dividing these two p upon q is equal to r upon s okay it was all for today and the next day we will study the integral and its Have a nice day.